All right, so this is a black diamond watermelon, and the season is almost done for the watermelons. The plants are starting to dry up, and this might be the last one, and if not, it's really close. So it's the biggest watermelon yet. We're gonna weigh it, and hopefully it's ripe. Twenty-four point eight pounds. Is that the biggest one? Yeah. It is, huh? Oh, it's uh -huh. way biggest one. You can call that twenty-five, dude. Ah. Go for it. Uh. We'll let you cut it. That's for sure, huh? Do you want me to help you? Yes. No. We'll fast forward this part so that it, well, it's up going pretty down, good. Up and down. Right? I don't know. It's like a saw. I'd he's he's making progress. Much. It's just a humongous watermelon. It's go the other way now, huh? Yeah. Look like it had water. Yeah, that thing is big. It's like a foot tall and then like what, twenty inches wide? It does. We're hoping it's ripe and not overripe. That be something? Hopefully it's not green. Watch your hands. If it's green, there's nothing we could have done about it, dude, because the vines are starting it's, to yeah, it's dry up. Whatever's going to do, it did. Yeah. Be careful, Lee. This is the biggest watermelon it I've ever seen. It could be in person, at least. Eh. Well, it's starting to split. I'm just going to try to Yeah, try to separate it, huh? Oh, I see a tender bread. I can't see you over here. It's a watermelon battle. It doesn't want to give up. Yeah, but loose. Okay, you think you can get it now? Oh, there it goes. Oh, my goodness. So... Is it underripe? It looks a tiny bit underripe here, but... Or is it ripe or overripe? I can't figure it out. It looks underripe a little bit. Well, it's humongous. If, if anything, our tortoises will get some great food out of this if it's not right. It tastes okay. Okay? Okay scares me. <laughs> okay means underripe. Is it funky or is it underripe? It's underripe. Is it really? Yep. You're yeah. serious? Uh-uh, it's not ready. Well, it wouldn't have got any riper than that. Boo. Oh. All right, so we had a big watermelon. It's not really ripe yet, but we've heard of smashing pumpkins. Now we're gonna smash watermelons. All right. This is my version of Ah! <laughs> it landed on my foot. Grody. Oh, they want that one. They heard it. Oh, you flipped it upside down. Put it the other way so they can grub it, dude. Turn the green rind over the other one. The tortoise knows what's coming. He sees that watermelon. Yeah. So, this is Version number two. Yeah, the way. Look out, dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Did it get your shoes? No. Okay, here comes the tortoise. Oh, yeah. He's going to have a field day on this one. They like the rind. Mm -hmm. It's weird. They avoid the red part and they eat the rind. He doesn't know where to start. Rocky. Oscar, stop that. <laughs> the dog's going to eat it all before you get any if you don't hurry up. <laughs> this is turned into a freak show over here. The dogs are going to steal it from him. <laughs> 
The tortoise is about to give up here. He's like, get these dogs out of here. I want to take a bite. I want to see you take a bite on camera. Hey, there he goes. I know your dog is going to eat all of it. That's the quickest watermelon eaten I've ever seen. This dog acts like he's famished over here. Hey, stepped on my toe. All right. Tortoise makeout session. He's Donald Trump. When he sees beautiful, he doesn't even ask. He just kisses. He just kisses their face. Back off, Donald Trump. That's not really his name. I don't want you to think that I would name my tortoise after Donald Trump. Gibson's trying to kiss the other one. Are they both boys? Yeah. Oh, well, I guess it's Trump and Giuliani then. <laughs> <laughs> and she's grouchy too. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. You give them a little bit of watermelon and it's like a bunch of crack addicts. Yeah. None of them are happy.